Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial 49 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. Now in this tutorial, let's look at image quality without using a reference. In the past tutorial, we looked at mean squared error, peak to signal noise uh, ratio and structural similarity index as some of the metrics for reference based image quality, where you have a gold standard image and then a noisy image or an image that, uh, that you would like to compare against this gold standard, right? That's pretty common. Now, no reference image quality can be very tricky. And I'm not sure if it works on all scenarios, but I found a couple of examples that works on most scenarios. So I thought of making a couple of tutorial videos on these topics. Now, again, this one is about an existing library that's out there and this one uses sharpness. So if you have images that you are trying to quantify uh, for sharpness, this can be a great, uh, great way. Now, uh, this is based on a published paper. First of all, too much text here. So first look at the top here. I'm gonna use a library called PyDOM and it's published on GitHub. And you can go ahead and do pip install uh, and then this line. But the problem when I did that, of course, was you got to have uh, git installed on your Windows system. So you got to have, because it's using git, right? So git is, again, if you don't know what it is, go ahead and uh, look for some videos on, uh, uh, on YouTube. Uh, uh, there are a lot of great videos about git. It's a way of uh, uh, managing your code, you know, uh, and versioning it. But this, this uh, again, try git. Uh, if it doesn't work out, that means you don't have Git for Windows and go ahead and get it first. Now I did that and it still did not work out. Maybe because I didn't restart my computer, I don't know, but it didn't work. So uh, I'll show you what I did in a minute. But let's uh, go ahead and look at uh, uh, you know the original paper. This is uh, uh, the title is Sharpness Estimation for Document and Scene Images. And uh, again, I'll, uh, 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 I'll leave the link to the original paper as part of the description of this video. But the key essence of this is it uses the difference of differences in grayscale values of a median filtered image. So first, the image would be median filtered, and then they look at the differences in grayscale values, and they look at the difference of those differences. Okay, it's a second order as an indicator of edge sharpness. Uh, and uh, uh, they compared it against a few other uh, techniques and uh, obviously uh, they published a paper where they say, okay, this one's uh, doing uh, much better compared to some of these that they tried. Now, if you look at the paper itself, their primary focus is on documents, yeah? Uh, and looking at the sharpness, but uh, they also claim that it works with uh, uh, scene images, which are natural uh, images and I tested this on a few scientific images, especially electron microscope images. This works great. Now, for light microscope images, for wide fields and others, uh, typically these things apply. But for fluorescent images, where you have a whole bunch of dark background and only faint images, uh, please test it out and see if this really is uh, the right tool for you. Okay, but I'm just making sure that you know that this tool exists. Okay. Uh, and, and like I said, this is basically they're looking at the delta in difference of median uh, values, median filtered images. So you can go through this paper to get more uh, understanding. Now they have the GitHub page where the original source code is already there and uh, setup.py kind of explains how to deal with this. And again, they look at these uh, images, yeah, natural images, look at these natural images. Uh, they kind of trained this or at least tested this on these type of images. Now pip installation, like I said, pip3 install, go ahead and do this or pip install if you are using pip and the usage is like here, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, now let's get into uh, our spider IDE. But uh, first, I would like to show you what I have done. Again, I'm starting with almost a uh, new Python environment here. So I did not have this pre-installed. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I did try to pip install this. Uh, and then it says cannot find command git. Do you have git installed? So at this point, I did uh, download this, uh, uh, install the git, but it did not help out. So what I did was I went back here and I kind of uh, I downloaded this entire thing, okay, this entire repo, and then I kind of extracted it into a folder called PyDOM master, okay, right there. And all the files are right here. Well, it's no good if all the files are here. I want to pip install this. And how do you do uh, install the, an entire repository? There are many ways. Of course, Git is the best way, but since it's not working, what I've done is uh, I ended up just using 
uh, where is it? Uh, uh, just a second. I navigated to this folder, right? I mean, um, I looked at what my present working directory was and I went to this PyDOM uh, master and then where is it? PyDOM master uh, folder and then I did pip install minus e space dot. Yeah, pip, in, pip space install space minus e space dot. That actually looks for the setup.py file and then installs it based on the instructions in the setup.py, okay? A quick note on how to do this in case you haven't done this before. It may sound a bit complicated, but pretty straightforward, okay? Now, let's look at uh, the code itself. It's very straightforward, very simple. Uh, again, I'm actually, again, you can put this in a loop where you can say, okay, look at all the images in a specific folder and assess the image quality for all of those. But I just picked four images here. One is the reference image and the other ones are uh, or the images where I did two sigma, three sigma and five sigma blur. That's it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and then uh, the uh, way you apply this is you have to initialize DOM. Again, I'm importing from DOM, import DOM. Again, if you look at the code, you would realize why. Within this, you have IQA. So I thought about it for a second. Should we make it complicated? No, but if you look at the setup.py, it tells you how to install it. Okay, when you look at this repo. And let's actually look at other files here, DOM and there is dom.py, right? So that's what we are installing. When you say from dom, that tells you, okay, import that Python file. So when you do from, that's nothing but a Python file, okay? So this Python file, it's importing. From that Python file, let's import something called uppercase dom. So it's looking for uppercase dom right there, class right there. So we are basically importing this dom object. And within that, you have IQA, to instantiate this DOM. And again, if you go ahead and look at this code, you'll find IQA somewhere. Um, and then uh, again, it's great to have source code. So you can go ahead and try to understand exactly what they're trying to achieve, okay? Uh, so anyway, so edges, sharpness matrix, so a whole bunch of things. Again, uh, you can see how they're calculating these, uh, these uh, different values. Okay, so uh, what were we trying to do? Okay, so the IQA, we are uh, basically assigning IQA to this DOM. Okay, and then from IQA, we are just basically getting sharpness uh, values. That's it, okay? So if you go back, get sharpness should be one of these, uh, how are they calculating sharpness matrix? There should be get sharpness somewhere. Yeah, get sharpness. So this is the function we are actually calling when we are applying IQA.getSharpness and it gets applied onto my image, whatever the image. So you can see that the input is image. And if you want, you can provide other parameters like width, sharpness threshold, edge threshold and everything. This is where again, having access to source code is great because now you know how to uh, adjust various parameters within uh, here. Okay, so that's all we are doing. I'm importing the uh, four images, one original and three artificially blurred. And then I'm calculating DOM for all of these and printing them out. So let's go ahead and apply this, run this. Okay, so it says no module day, uh, named DOM. So from DOM import DOM, so no module named DOM. So we just did our uh, pip install here and it says you may need to restart the kernel to update the package. Sometimes that happens, let's see if that helps, okay? I'm doing this uh, uh, live so you uh, you kind of learn from uh, my you know issues that I'm facing and how I'm troubleshooting them, assuming you're new to coding. Okay, let's run this one more time. Okay, there you go, now it works. All it took was to restart the kernel, okay? So the sharpness index uh, for the image that wasn't blurred was 1.1, and as you can see with increasing blurring, the values uh, are decreasing. At some point, obviously, when you go to zero, it's all one grayscale, apparently. Uh, so I personally thought, it, especially for these backscattered electron microscope images or some wide field images, this is working great. I haven't tested this on fluorescent uh, uh, LM fluorescence images, so please go ahead and do that. And if this is a another metric that you can add to your image quality assessment, that's great. So thank you very much. And in the next tutorial, let's actually look at a different way of doing no reference based image quality. And uh, again, one more tool for us to uh, when, it, when it comes to assessing image quality. So thank you very much. And let's meet in the next tutorial. Please subscribe to this channel so you get intimidated, intimidated, sorry, so that you get intimated right away whenever new videos are 
uh, upload it to YouTube. So thank you very much for your attention and let's meet to the next tutorial.